Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and working with you to make your game nights better. Today the question I'm answering is, what's in the box in regards to this lesser known game? Very heavy box from Capstone Games, a game called Lingnum. Now, I first learned about this game through Edward of Heavy Cardboard, the Heavy Cardboard podcast that talks about heavier games and 18xx games. So you can kind of get what this game means uh, when it's coming from there. They even won the Golden Elephant, I think it was a finalist? Golden Elephant finalist. And it also won the Spiel in Portugal. Um, this is a game about wood. Um, it is a... Starting with only $5 and a small mill worker, your goal is to run your lumber mill as economically as possible so that at the end of the eighth round, you have more money than your competitors. Goes on for a little bit more detail than that, but we're not going to worry about that right now because you want to see the components in this box. At least that's what I care about. So we're going to crack this open and take a look at what you get with Lignum from Capstone Games. All right, here you have my copy of Lignum. I have not actually opened this up before. This is my first time getting to see the inside of this box. I gotta say the cover definitely tells you what it's about. Alright, we are looking at rulebook. And joinery and building expansion. That's cool. So there's some expansions included. Lots of wood. What'd you expect in a game about wood? Uh, this is a thicker one. We're looking at that. We got a, a really decent looking component overview. Board overview. It's gonna be a big board. Um, looks like there's individual player boards we'll be finding, lots of tokens, lots of wooden pieces showing three different types of wood. We've got different awards. Uh, the preparation is already somewhat intimidating. Um, we are looking at, so this is the preparation is all these steps. Then we get to the play in detail. You're going to mark which wood to cut. Travel along supply paths. Rule books look pretty good. Lots of actual shots of the game components here. Lots of examples, some call-outs. I do love this. It says important. So on. Um, we're going log dive driving. It's the Lumberjack game. Sadly, with a, a Portuguese theme instead of a Canadian theme. Constructing huts. Uh, playing in winter. Then we've got loaning cards in the winter. Player who has the most dollars wins the game. Note there are changes when playing with two and three players. Something that worries me a little bit, but we'll see. Uh, then we have the planned work cards and a tactical variant. So just in case the game isn't enough for you. Then we have some tips, an FAQ, and some general notes, and a thank you. We're going to put that aside and read through that. So then we have the, the joinery and builder expansions listed here, which are two different expansions have to be in there as well. Uh, lots of meeple. We have meeples and cubes. Lots of meeples and cubes. What I'm going to do is slide this over here. And I'm going to take these out of here. We're going to use the inside of the box to kind of show these off. This is probably going to be the easiest way to do it. So here we have it. We have meeples and cubes. Lots of meeples and cubes. Browns and greens. Uh, the cubes are all green. Meeples in various different colors. Probably the player colors. Then we've got the three types of wood in the game. Three little wooden sticks in different colors. Black, tan, and brown. More wooden pieces. So it looks like we've got grain. We've got uh, uh, workers. Pawns with little hats. As well as um, uh, markers in the player colors. I'm going to guess these are for tracking things on various boards instead of like resources you own. There are also some wooden cylinders in here. So that's it for all your different wooden components. Sorry, I missed one little wooden cube here. One, uh, sorry, cube. That's very much a cylinder, a disc, a wooden disc. All right, wooden components, lots of them in a game about wood. Slightly ironic. Baggies to hold all those. Awesome. Cards, which I see axes. Planned work cards. Placement cards. Winter cards. Loan cards. You can't have a good economic game without loans. Task cards. There we have it to the end. All right. So first, looking at the planned work cards, you've got 
sawing and so on. Looks like the iconography is very clear here. Text is clear to read. Kind of shows where to work it. Cutting. Trade. Craft work. Drying. So these could be end game scoring. I'm not sure. Then we have placement cards. Interesting. It's showing where we're placing the wood, it looks like. So you probably draw to see what trees grow, what type of woods. Not a lot of artwork on those, showing different regions of the board. Uh, task cards. These look like stuff you trade in, right? Get in some wood, get 22 bucks, trade in that wood, trade in that wood. Kind of boring looking, but... All right, a bunch of tra task cards, showing different combos of woods. Loan cards are two-sided. Um... Yeah, the, no, they have different numbers on them. So this is 4 and 16 on this side, and 4 and 7 on this side. So there must be a way to, like, flip your loans. And then winter cards. Uh, these are broken up second year and first year. First year winter cards shows what you're going to uh, possibly need or lose. So the green cubes are food. We now see that. And heating. So you're going to have to burn some wood for heating. Makes sense, right? And then similar for the other winter. So that's it for the cards. Sealed. Player boards. Oh, see, I almost lost a piece of wood. It snuck away. A piece of wood tried to escape. Whoa! There's some thinner boards in there. Sneak attack. I was thinking, I'm like, shouldn't there only be four player boards? I'm pretty sure this is only a four-player game. Ah, player boards. They are, um, as far as I know, not asymmetric. There you have them in the, the four different player colors and places to store your woods and, and so on. Uh, artwork's effective, single-sided. Joinery. Oh, here's for the joinery expansion. So the building's available in the joinery. Okay. How big is this going to be? More shrink wrap stuff. I got to say, I appreciate the um, keeping everything nice and organized this way. So we have the player board. How big are we looking? Not massive. It's a good size board, but it's not massive. So here we have the entire player board. You can, I can almost fit it all in. Yes, it's upside down. I'll flip it over. So we have the player board here for Lignum. Uh, you can just kind of see everything over here. So you have your planned work over here, the various different uh, forests you can harvest. And of course, there's all these different work replacement style spots, as well as the phase tracker at the top that's going to go through the different phases of the game. Uh, this is two sided. I'll flip that over quickly. I'm going to guess this is probably based on player count, but I don't actually know. So there is a two sided board here. Then. We get the cardboard. The cardboard is going to be lots of stuff here based on what I saw in the component list. We're looking at one, two, three, four, five punch boards. I'm going to try not to have anything fall out here. They look like they're extremely well punched. You've got buildings, resources, money, of course. I'm going to just slide these right back into the box as I hold each of them up. I will flip this one so you can kind of see what's on either side. So obviously these can be randomized because the backs are different. Uh, then we just have a bunch of numbers, as well as more buildings for the joinery. Again, some of these can be randomized. Then we've got, these are the different regions on the board. More money, more buildings. And again, it looks like these maybe um, are in the different player colors. I see saws and various tools here. Again, all showing that same symbol. I don't know if they, they are randomized, but they do seem like you're going to make a random pile of those. So there you have it. That's everything you get in the box for Lignum. Oh, look at that. Like, like just make the box two millimeters. Two millimeters bigger. Those would have fit there. Like, I know, you should. they came out like this. But just would have been nice if those would have just nested there nicely. And the rest of the player boards. But now I have a spot down here for the cards. The baggies. Of course, all oh, this wood. So much wood. And lignum. Who would have thought? Much a deeper box than it needs to be. Odd choice. Odd choice there. There you got it. Lignum. There you have what you get in the box for lignum from... 
Tapstone Games, a heavy game about logging and woodwork. All about the trees. Really looking forward to checking this one out. Uh, this is a game we did purchase ourselves. It's a heavier game, up there, economic game, thematic economic game, with a weight of 4.12 currently on Board Game Geek. Now, where this one came from is I asked my wife, hey, look through our pile of shame, find something you want to play, and pick it up, and I'll unbox it today, and this is what she picked. So my wife wants to play some Lignum. No, I did not make the obvious joke, and you should thank me. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. You can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Visit the TabletopBellhop.com webpage to find more awesome gaming content and listen to the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast on your podcatcher of choice. You can also find me streaming on Twitch as well as releasing video-on-demand content on YouTube. Looking forward to seeing you interacting with our stuff. Good day and game on.